Okay, good morning to all y'all out there in Never Never Land. How about that? Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing? We've been missing all of you. It's not the same anymore, is it? No, been missing all of you. Sure do, sure do miss you. Uh, and I hope you know, hope you're doing well. Well, you know what? It's Christmas time, right? See this pretty red flower Jerry brought in here? It's, it's Christmas time again. And Jesus is the reason for the season, right? Somebody say amen. 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 Well, before we start, before I start, let's, let's, uh, let's bow and have a word of prayer this morning. Father God, we come this morning with, uh, with love and thanksgiving in our hearts. Gratitude, Lord, for for uh, for what you do for us, Lord, for bereaved hearts uh, among our friends, uh, e even our relatives. In these past days, Lord, we just uh, we we just pray for for this uh, thing that we're involved in. It's it's in our world or has consumed us, and Lord, we just pray that your hand would would uh, would be on that. And and, uh, and help to take it away, Lord. We we know we know that you can, and we and we believe that this morning, Lord. I, I pray for for this uh, for this story that I'm going to tell this morning. That's going to start out uh, talking about the G the stories of Jesus' birth, and I just thank you for that this morning, Lord. Just just bless us through this time this morning. Forgive us of our of our failures. And continue to love us and walk with us and hold our hand, Lord, through the days ahead. We ask it all in the precious and strong name of Jesus. And everybody said amen again. Amen. amen. All right, we're going to start this morning in the new studies that, that we start this, this time, this, this week. Stories about Jesus' birth. And what do we know? Jesus' birth is Christmas time, right? So, so we, I mean, we're, we're all on the same page, right? It's it's, uh, it's 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 getting into the Christmas season, and and I'm glad that uh, because uh, I love this time of the year, but uh, this time of years things are are just like I said in my prayer. Things are so different right now in 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 our world, even even in our little town that we live here in Corsicana. Think things are so so different. Uh, we we just had we just had Thanksgiving and and, and, and norm, normally I've got 28 people in my house at Thanksgiving and, and with, with all my family. I had six. That was all I had around my big table this morning. Uh, that morning, that, that Sunday, that, that that's that Thanksgiving lunch. I'm sorry, I'm kind of having a little, little problem right there. But but you know. Uh, we we're, we're not we're not able to be together with family friends, but we know we know, and we know that God is with us, right? We know we we know that we know that for sure. So, uh, you know, we we uh, we have many ways in our society or in our time to receive gifts of announcements. And that's what basically the story is about this morning is is announcements, and but but the, the ways that we have for announcements are, are, you know, some people can get on a microphone and they can tell, or, there, or it might come out in a newspaper, you know, to, to tell to tell an announcement, or it might be on a smartphone, or or, or somebody just telling an announcement or on a computer, or, or maybe getting a, a something in the mail, an invitation. That can be an announcement too, right? But uh, this more this story this morning uh, in in the Bible is, is different. So I want you to listen. I want you to listen real good this morning to me. Today we're going to hear about an announcement that Mary and Joseph got. We we've heard this story many times. We told I I, I don't know I've, I've told this story many times myself, but all it's always different right you know I mean I, I tell I tell a lot of stories uh, in different different ways but most of the time I don't ever tell them the same way you know you always think of something else that you want to say 
you know, or somebody somebody might say something to you and change it up a little bit. My my, my wife is good about that. She she likes to to uh, not necessarily interfere, but intervene and tell add to the story that that, that what I'm telling you know. But uh, uh, you leave out the good parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did y'all hear that? I leave out the good parts is what she's saying. <laughs> and, and I guess sometimes that may be. That may be. But uh, this morning, our Bible story, it's go it comes out of the book of Luke. Uh, where, 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 where is Luke? Is that in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Jerry, where's that at? Luke? Luke. I, last time I looked, it was in the New it, Testament. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was. But... Anyway, it, it's in it's in Luke uh, chapter one. It's eighteen through thirty-five. That's a lot of verses. So, so I'm not going. I'm not going to read all those verses this morning. I'm going to tell the story. I'm going to tell the story. This is the Chuck Burns version of this of, of this story right here this morning. Uh, so, so I want you. I want you to listen to me now, as as I tell you about Mary and Joseph. They were engaged to be married. Uh, now, in the Bible days, engaged, engaged was like already being married, but they didn't live together. Uh, so, th 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 things are going, you know, going along pretty good. They probably got a date set, but uh, here, here we got an announcement this, this, this morning right here. It, 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 didn't, it didn't probably agree with this, this date that they've got set. But they're engaged, and they they they, lo they love one another. And they've already talked about what they're going to do. They're going to they're going to live in in in, uh, in, uh, in Bethlehem or, or or wherever you know. But but uh, anyway, what goes on now is is there there's an announcement that comes to them, and it comes in the form of an angel. It's, na it's an angel. We we we've heard about angels for a long. You know, we've been hearing about angels. We we hear about angels in, during Christmas time a whole lot. We sing about angels, but but uh, God sent an angel. This angel's name was Gabriel. The Gabriel spoke to Mary, and he told her to rejoice, Mary, rejoice, because God is with you, Mary. Well, this this kind of terrified Mary. She 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 really she really didn't she really didn't know what to do. She was. She was confused. She was afraid. But but uh, the angel Gabriel, he, he told her, he said, Mary, he said, don't be afraid, Mary. God is happy with you. He's pleased with what with your life. And he, he wants you to be his servant right now to, 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 to uh, have his child born in you. So what we're talking about is Jesus is going to be born in Mary. So the angel told her that, that God is going to bring a sense the of spirit. God's spirit is going to come on you. And you will be, have, you, you will have a son and during, during, during this time. And, and uh, so that's, that, that's what happened. So, so Mary didn't understand how this could be because she had, she had been with a man. She had been with a man. She, she she knew she knew Joseph. She knew Joseph, and they they've been going together for a good long while. But they hadn't been together. They hadn't been together. You know where Paul Stewart. They they had they hadn't been together, but uh, Gabriel went on and to tell Mary that her cousin Elizabeth was going to have a son. Even though she was old, she she was old, and you know, old people don't have babies, you know. Well, now now nowadays they do, but not not as old as Elizabeth was. Elizabeth was up in her probably I don't know seventies or eighties maybe, when God told her that she was going to have a son, and she never had had any children. So Mary was surprised, but God loved, and He would gladly be what. She would gladly do what God wanted her to do, because she was God's lady. She was God's servant. She knew it. She she loved God. God loved her. 
she loved she 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 loved she she loved him, and she was gonna do what he asked her to do, you know, uh, un unconditional, you know. After after she got over the shock of what the angel told her, uh, she said, "Yes, I, I you know I, I'll be more than happy, be be, be glad to be uh, the, the servant for God." to bring Jesus into the world. So, as, as the story goes on, uh, Joseph, he was the kind of man that, that he obeyed God. He did things that were right. He was a good man. He was a good man. And But but the, 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 uh, he wasn't sure about this, this deal with, with Mary. Here, here all of a sudden Mary's pregnant. And, and he knows that, that, the, the, that the child's not going to be his. He's kind of he's kind of uh, worried about that, you know. He said, "What are people going to think?" You know. He said, "I, I just, you know, what are what are people going to think? Do, do I need to do I need to uh, uh, break off this engagement that, we, that, that that I have with Mary?" So, what do you think happened? Here come that angel again. And he and he 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 probably lit on Gabriel on, on Joseph's shoulder, and this was Gabriel again. And he told he told he told Joseph, "Don't be afraid, Joseph. Everything's gonna be cool. Everything's everything's good. If God God's gonna gonna uh, make Mary pregnant, or he already has, I, I, I guess by now. But but the angel said, "Don't be afraid." To make Mary your wife, is what the angel said. So that that put that put Joseph in a good line of spirit. He he was he was he was a whole lot different now. He was happy, right, Lance? He was happy. Yeah. So 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 uh, every, 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 everything's cool now, and so it, it progresses on, and, and uh, as 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 the day as the, as the days go on. Mary's baby, baby will be born. And, 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 and the angel specifically told Joseph this. He said, now, when this baby's born, I want you to name him Jesus. So we, we, all, we all know that part of the story for sure. We, we all know the whole, whole story, really. But, but, uh, but Gabriel, the angel, told Joseph that you be sure that you name that baby Jesus. And that's what happened. Joseph did. But uh, all this took place, all this took place to prepare a, a, a prophecy that was told many, many hundreds of years before this time right here. Uh, this, we're talking about over here in, in Luke, we're talking about over here in, in Luke is a long way over there in, in, in the New Testament. Uh, but we're talking about now, we're talking about this story was told. This story was told in, in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah was the one that told the story. And he Isaiah was a prophet. We all we, we, we all know about that. We, we we've uh, talked about prophets many times. But but I wanna read I wanna read to you what Isaiah said in in in, in the Bible in uh Isaiah 9, 6, and 7. Isaiah 9, 6, and 7. He says, For a child was born to us, a son is given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders. These will be his royal titles, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Wow. Wow. We, we we know we know those things we know those words we call we call the lord we call jesus those very names but it was prophesied many many years before jesus was born over here in luke this this was isaiah and all his buddies they 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 were at the coffee shop and they were talking about this many many years before it happened when Joseph, Joseph, he, he's woke up now, and and uh, and uh, he did what the Lord, the angels, commanded him to do. He married Mary. He 
talk about a, a, a celebration. I'm sure they had a <coughs> probably a, a big wedding, big wedding, and uh, Joseph married Mary. And when his son, when, when the son was born, <coughs> when the son was born, Joseph named him Jesus. Is what the is what the uh, angel told him to do. So the angel, so the angel's announcement to Mary and Joseph that they would be parents to God's son. That was the announcement that we we started out in our story talking about different ways that announcement comes. You know, they come by way of uh, like like Brother Danny stands up in front of the uh, front of the church, talks on a microphone, and gives announcements. Or you put them up on the screen, and we and we read them off the screen. Or maybe you get a text or a cell phone. Lance, Lance is good with a with his cell phone, and so is Jerry. We get we get all kinds of announcements through our through our cell phones, which is good, which is a good thing. But this particular story right here, that announcement came from the angel Gabriel. So with, with, with that's with that, that's that's all of my story, but. I want to tell you uh, my Bible verse this morning, today, uh, tells us what the angel said about about who God would send him Jesus. Why, why, excuse me, why God was sending Jesus. And the Bible verse simply says, he will save us, he will save his people from their sins. And we all are sinners, right? We all are sinners. And we have to ask for forgiveness, right? And we we, we, we do what 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 the what the Bible says in First John one nine. We ask for forgiveness, and we trust and we know that God is faithful and just to cleanse us from that sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And we need we need to do that. We need to do that. But uh, He will save us from our sins. We all sin, the Bible says, and we need to be forgiven. But we have to choose and ask for that forgiveness. Many people today do not know the good news about what we just talked about. They, I mean, the world is full of them. Right, Lance? The world is full of them today. And, and, and it's up to us. It's, it's, our, it's our obligation to tell the story, to tell the story, and we we, we, we we sing that little song a whole lot. I mean, that's one of my favorite songs to sing about telling telling the story, just like we just like we told this morning right here. But we also remember what we talk about. We call it the ABCs, don't we? The ABCs helps us to tell that story. It says ABCs. It says to admit that you are a sinner. And you need God's forgiveness. You, you, that's, I mean, that word is admit. A lot of people don't like to admit that. They, 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 they don't want no part of it. <coughs> but that's the first step in, 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 in getting this, this uh, commitment right here is to admit that you're a sinner. If you don't admit, well, you know, it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. But, but then, then you've got to believe that Jesus is, your, is, is God's son, and he died on the cross so that we have eternal life and we trust him. You got, if you don't believe that, well, it's all over. I mean, if, you don't, if you're not going to admit you're a sinner and you don't believe that, that God's, Jesus is God's son, well, you, you, you're, you're, you're blowed up. You're blowed up. But so then after that, we need to confess that we have been, have been given your life to God, to, some, to someone. We have to, we have to tell that. Confess that you have given your life to God, to someone. God will hear you and forgive you. That's my story this morning. That's my story this morning. What time is it? 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock almost.
10 o'clock almost. Well, uh, I got a little story right here I will read to you. I got mm, vitamins make my mouth dry. <laughs> this this is this is a story. Uh, it, it, and they'll really like this story because it's about handbells. Share, share the good news is the story. It says, I like to ring handbells. Carmen told Felicia. <laughs> the Merry Bells was the name of these, these people that rang the bells. The Merry Bells were in the nursing home. They were playing handbells for the residents. Christmas carols are so much fun to play, replied Felicia, writing in it. Christmas bells. Christmas, I mean the bells, Christmas time is a good time. And Patty loved to play the, the bells during Christmas. And, and we, we went to the nursing home a lot of times and sang and took the bells with us. I mean, I can remember doing that lots of times. Lots of, lots of times I remember doing that. The nursing home residents smiled as they listened to the Mary Bells play. Some tapped their feet, some clapped their hands to the music that was going on, to the, to the bells that were playing. And they were singing that as, as they played. At the end of the music, Carmen said, we are here to tell you why God sent Jesus. Miss Joanne, the, the, she's the Mary Bell leader, she, she read the Christmas story from her Bible. Felicia added, God sent Jesus to save us from our sins. Amen. That's what he did. That's what Christmas is all about. It's all about. That uh, God sent Jesus to save us from our sins. Thank God. Thank you, God. They chimed in. All the merry bells. Then they played one more song. We wish you a Merry Christmas. <clears throat> Why not? Why not end with we miss you a Merry Christmas? So the Merry Bells, they blessed the people at the nursing home. I, I, I have been a part of doing that many times. My, my mother, my mother and uh, father-in-law and mother-in-law were in the nursing home. It was always good to go and be with them and, and share with them with what the handbells do. So we've heard the bells before, right? We will hear them again. Hopefully, sometime, God's willing, we'll hear them again. And we'll be together again, too, sometime. Which, I mean, I'm just looking forward to that when, when, when we can do that. This week, this week, I'll, you know, I know, I know you can't probably can't get out, but share, share what you learned this morning in, in this, in this story that, that I told you this morning about the announcement that that Gabriel the angel came and made to Joseph and Mary that that an announcement was that that Mary was going to have a baby. And God was going to put that baby in her, and, and she was going to have that baby, and they were going to name that baby Jesus. And that Je and then Jesus was going to come and save the world from their sins. Tell God sent Jesus to save us from our sins. So let's pray. Father God, it's been good to hear your word, tell your story this morning. So we have many needs, many, many needs that we need to address this morning, that hurts that we need to pray for, even, even, in, the, even in our group homes. 
for the ones that are that are listening to me on the tape this morning. I, I, I know that y'all have y'all have needs. Y'all have many needs. <coughs> I wished I could see you. I wished I could make a prayer list this morning like we used to do. But we we know we we, we know and we, and we know that God is good all the time, and we know that uh, He's going to do what He said He would do. So we pray for bereaved hearts. We pray for Patty's family, uh, for others through this, this pandemic of this virus, Lord, for many, many lives that have, that have been lost through this, through this virus that we have among us. So, with that, with, with, with that being said, I'm going to end my prayer this morning, and, and I'm going to say one more time that God is good. I love all y'all. pray y'all be safe and I pray Merry Christmas for all of y'all before you shut it off won't you tell them about Patty oh, okay about what uh, in, prayer. in my prayer I, I ask uh, prayer for, for Patty's family Patty's brother uh, Ed Formby was in well he'd been in a nursing home his wife had been in him and his wife both had been in a nursing home for a good long while, but they were at home. But uh, her brother, uh, Ed, for me, he had a massive heart attack this past week. And uh, we're going to have a service tomorrow at uh, Northside Baptist Church for it. But uh, Patty, Pat, Patty's been praying for, for her brother and her sister and his, her sister-in-law for a good many months. As, as, as all of us have, but uh, it's it's a tragedy to uh, to have a death this close to Christmas and Thanksgiving uh, in, in in anybody's family. But uh, we love Patty, and uh, we, we love that family, and so. Uh, I want you to pray for Patty and her family during, during this time. So, uh, say bye for now. Jerry, you got something you want to yeah, say? Yeah, can you put it on me? You know, last week I, I taught the lesson last week. And to this week as I was watching that, uh, that uh, tape of last week, I realized that I made a real bad, real, I don't know, it's a bad mistake, but I kind of misled you a little bit when I told you that Micah, which we were studying about last week, and I told you the book of Micah was in the New Testament. Now, I didn't catch that until I watched that, until I watched that uh, tape, but I want to tell you that it's not in the New Testament, it's in the Old Testament, okay? So, so that you don't come back at me later and say, man, Jerry just doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, most of the time I don't, but I do know that Micah's in the Old Testament and it's not in the New Testament. So y'all have a good week and we'll talk to you next Sunday. <laughs>